The number of cranes visible on London's skyline is considered by some to indicate the strength of our economy. Well, today, new figures suggest the capital is showing strong signs of economic growth, with office construction back to pre-recession levels for the first time. Well, Mark Ashdown is in the city for us with more on this tonight. Mark. Yes, Alice, London's skyline this evening lit up, dominated by high-rise buildings and lots of those red dots over there, well, they're cranes. And that, broadly speaking, is good news. When the builders are busy, everyone else is too. But a note of caution, all this high-end office space being constructed isn't necessarily easing the pressure on small businesses. City analysts often look to the skies for a sense of which way the economic winds are blowing. And right now, appetite for construction in the city is stronger than ever. The London Office Crane Survey is a sort of barometer for London's economy. Its latest report shows in the past six months, 31 new office construction projects have got underway. That means currently 9.5 million square foot of office space is in the pipeline. That's up 24% since November. This is a huge vote of confidence for London. You know, London is seen as, as being a global city, if not the global city. And I think what this report shows is both the breadth of demand uh, and development going on, but also that we're seeing new types of businesses. You know, businesses already located in London, but importantly, businesses are choosing London uh, to move their businesses to, to headquarter here. So what's driving it? Another report today suggests foreign companies, for one, a record 270 set up or grew here last year, creating 5,000 jobs, many in the tech sector. A decade ago, just 26 tech companies came to London. Last year, it attracted 108. This is the throbbing gizmo behind the whole thing. This is... Having a mayor pushing London's global image is also seen as a big factor. But there are warnings that for smaller businesses, there's still more demand than supply, which pushes rents up. To some extent, London's been a victim of its own success and real estate investment is obviously vital for the capital, but it's also vital that we encourage smaller firms to be able to incubate and grow with affordable office space. So one of the things that councils and the GLA need to do is ensure that we've currently continually got a supply of that stuff, as well as all of the shiny, expensive, high-profile new buildings that clearly permeate the skyline. It is hoped pressure will ease as projects are completed and a post-general election period often fuels the confidence to build even more. Experts say we are now back to pre-recession levels, but everyone is aware of the delicate balance to guard against another bust. Now the boom is back. So a vote of confidence for London, Mark, but also signs today uh, that the referendum on Britain's future in the EU is making some in the city a little nervous. Well, that's right. Deutsche Bank has announced today it's reviewing its UK operations in the event of Britain pulling out of the EU. Of course, David Cameron has promised that in-out referendum by 2017. Now, Deutsche has set up a working group to look at its options. What does that mean? Well, it's got 9,000 staff at 16 locations around the country, and it is a big player. So it sent, not shockwaves, but ripples at least around uh, the city. Some very concerned at the knock-on effect. Others, though, feel it could be just a pragmatic approach. I think what Deutsche Bank have done is absolutely right. They need to consider all possible eventualities. There is a possibility, I think it's a very small one, that Britain might leave the European Union. And like other big financial institutions and indeed big companies generally, they need to consider what would they do if that happens. It's a pretty normal precaution for a big business to take. Now, if Deutsche were to go, there's no doubt they leave a pretty big gap. They've been in the UK since 1873. But the bank stressed today this is very early days. Although this does echo warnings from HSBC in April earlier in the year, uh, that they too were looking at their operations. So some good news today with all this construction, but also some worrying rumbles from some quarters, Alice. Marks, thank you. Mark Ash down there.